who's got two thumbs and is going PAX Prime 2015? This guy. So I won't be hosting for about a week since I won't be here in the studio, but if any of you netlinkers are going to PAX and you see me there, come say hi, don't be shy. But enough about me, let's start the intro. This is Miles, the, the Brontosaurus. I guess it was inevitable that one day the world would see a video game console that didn't include an optical drive, and it looks like Nintendo would be the one to pull the trigger. A patent filed by Nintendo was discovered recently which showed off plans for a console, perhaps the upcoming Nintendo NX. Anyways, for the patent, there doesn't seem to be an optical drive nor cartridge space anywhere. It appears that the console will run off a hard drive and use a network connection for downloads. I mean. PCs have been doing this for years now, it only makes sense that the lesser console race would eventually catch up. What do you guys think? Will this start a new revolution in the console world? Will we no longer need to head to GameStop to pick up the latest copy of Pokemon Insert Color here? Leave a comment down below. PC World got their hands on AMD's Project Quantum PC and were allowed to dissect it. In a video with supplementary blog post on their website, PC World took the entire thing apart and showed the world what's on the inside. In the top portion you find a 180mm radiator, the pump and a custom 3D printed reservoir. In the bottom portion you find all the electronics, things like the AMD Radeon SSD, the single Fury X card, a double duty heatsink that cools both the GPU and CPU, the ITX motherboard, ballistics RAM and to the dismay of AMD fans, an Intel 4790K. Project Quantum is truly an engineering masterpiece being able to pack so much stuff into something so small. Check out the article if you have time, but you might want to mute the video. The video auto plays on every page of the blog post, so it might get a little annoying. Yeah. Okay, people, this is the last one before September comes. It's lightning round. Sony Xperia teased a new phone in a tweet that will be unveiled September 2nd. But come on, Sony, who are you fooling? Judging by the blurry post, it's going to be the Xperia Z5, or Z5, whatever. I'll have my wallet ready. Wiley Fox is a new phone company with two cyanogen-based phones, the Swift and the Storm. Early speculations say that Wiley Fox is trying to be the UK's version of OnePlus, since the devices seem to be good bang for buck. At a recent event, Toshiba demoed its plans for 128 terabyte SSDs by the year 2018. They're also predicting that disk-based hard drives would only reach 40 terabytes by 2020. Microsoft is working on a keyboard cover for tablets with a built-in e-ink display. The prototype looks like it has a bunch of different functionalities based on what application it is running. In a few unofficial pictures, the HTC Arrow was spotted next to an iPhone 6. Seems like HTC is hopping on the I want to copy Apple bandwagon. And Reports are coming in that the new Samsung Galaxy Note 5 has a fatal flaw in its S Pen. If you insert the stylus clicky button and first, it ends up getting stuck and can break or disable the pen functionality. Huh. Well, here's an idea. Don't be an idiot. Insert it the pointy end first. Gosh. Hashtag logic. Sources for all of today's news stories will be linked in an NCX forum post down below. No, 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 no. They put raisins in the cookies! Why? Well, hopefully if you win an extreme trip for two to the Intel Extreme Masters, the flight down to San Jose won't include raisin cookies. What's that? How can you win an extreme trip to the IEM Gaming Tournament on November 21st to 22nd? Easy. All you need to do is enter your email for your chance to win. You can get more chances to win when you buy qualifying Intel products. For every $100 spent, you earn one additional entry. For more info on this extreme trip, click here or down in the description for more details. Extreme. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click here for previous episodes of Netlink Tech Tips or Unpacked. Avert your eyes to the right-hand corner of the screen if you want to take part on the whole GIF versus GIF debate that Keys accidentally started. You would think the one time he uses Twitter, he wouldn't start a war. Anyways, hmm? What's that? Oh, I'm Team GIF, all the way. Is... Can I go? I... Can't.
can't tell if the intro or outro is over. So. I need to pack for packs. Later.